Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over the Amerigo iDot Pro Sight System. Uh, this one here is available for M&Ps and Glocks, at least as of right now. And uh, really in the last couple years, there's been a rise in companies that are offering sort of night sights with increased daylight capabilities. We have the True Glows out there that a lot of people really like. Um, additionally, there's the uh, Trigicon uh, HD sights, which I really like a lot. And also there are these uh, Ameriglow iDot Pros, which are really good as well. So there's sort of a, a little bit of uniqueness to each of the systems. And uh, largely, I will say this when it comes to sites, site picture is is largely a uh, preference thing. So, you know, some folks like the straight eight type configuration, which you see here, which is basically one dot on top of another dot. And that's how you line it up. Some folks like the black dot rear sight, some folks like three dots, etc. It's largely a personal preference thing. However, one thing I've found uh, in my years of, you know, playing with handguns and talking to people and teaching people um, is that a lot of cross-eyed dominant suitors tend to like the straight eight sights. I don't know really what it is about that, but it tends to be the case. My wife, for instance, is cross-eyed dominant and she definitely prefers um, straight eight or eye dot type sights. Um, but the trend we've seen towards sort of day and night capable or enhanced sights I think is a good thing. So for instance on these ones you have your luminescent paint around the front sight and what that does is it actually draws your eye to it during the day because the rear sight doesn't have that so when you actually acquire your sight picture very quickly your eye is drawn to that front sight in daylight conditions. Uh, additionally at night the paint itself is photoluminescent so you can charge it like if you have lights like we have on in this room it will glow for a limited amount of time in uh, daylight or nighttime conditions I should say. But uh, even in the day, like I said, it really does draw your eye to it. This one's orange. They have, I believe, green or yellow uh, offerings as well. But anyway, we'll check out the uh, close-up, the details of them, and then come back and let you know what I think of them overall. The sights themselves are made of steel and it does have a black oxide finish on there to prevent against corrosion if you're carrying it inside the waistband and you get sweaty or if you're out there in the rain or whatever the case may be. Um, the tritium lamps in there are made by Trigicon. Those lamps themselves are inserted into an aluminum housing which is then inserted into the steel sight itself. After that they cap it off with a sapphire jewel to prevent any sort of solvents or anything like that or from getting in there and damaging the actual tritium insert. So they're pretty durable stuff. On the rear sight there you can actually see the aluminum that it is housed in but uh, really nice uh, in terms of overall quality fit and finish on these sites. Sites are pretty simple review so not too much detail to get into there but uh, in terms of installation these are only available for the Glocks and MPs like we talked about so that both of those offer just a dovetail installation. I have videos on how to do that for both of the pistols so you can check the links here uh, embedded in the video and actually click on those if you guys aren't sure if you feel comfortable installing them yourself. If not of course you can always bring them to uh, your local gunsmith and have them installed. Um, in terms of price uh, I'll post a link below where you guys can see all the different models and stuff like that that are being offered, color combinations and what pistols they're offered for. Um, but generally I checked over on Amazon Amazon this morning and they're anywhere between say like 80 to 95 dollars depending on the combination and where you actually get them from uh, so that in my opinion is pretty reasonable for a high quality sight system um, one difference that you're going to note between the MMP that you guys have seen throughout the video here and the Glocks is that the Glock rear sight has a little bit more of a ledge for one-handed manipulation now uh, on the MMPs that sort of uh, upward sweep there is uh, capable of running one hand manipulations but it's not quite as aggressive as some folks would like but other folks will prefer that because it's less uh, or it's more snag free I guess you could say so really again it's sort of a personal preference thing like a lot of things with sights but uh, if you guys want um, good daytime shooters as well as uh, good nighttime shooting capabilities um, and you like the straight eight type sight picture or the IDOT sight picture, whatever you want to call it. These are definitely uh, some sites I'd take a look at. Definitely high quality and uh, they work well in acquiring a fast uh, sight picture. So if you guys have any questions that we didn't cover here, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.